Hi everyone, Lindy Elkins Tanton here. We have a special way of learning in this class, a special way of solving problems and doing research. Each of you is going to start by selecting a big goal question for the class. This has to be something that has to do with space or space exploration. Some examples from other classes are things like how will humans settle on the moon? Or how will we find life off of this earth? Or what is the universe made of? It has to be something that you are truly interested in knowing the answer to, and you don't have to have any prior experience at all. Now, this is gonna be your guiding question for the class, like the class topic, and every student is gonna have a different one, your own unique one. And I'm gonna have a whole separate video about choosing your big goal question. Now here's what happens once you have your big goal question. Then you start a process we call the question cycle. The first thing you're going to do is find a piece of content that helps you understand something about your big goal question. It might be a journal article to read, it might be an interview, it might be a video, some piece of content that helps you learn something about your big goal question. And then you are going to write a summary of that content. And that summary is gonna be a one page written summary We've got uh, an assignment that explains exactly how to do that. Once you have summarized the knowledge you've now gained, the next step in the question cycle is to ask your natural next questions. These are the questions that would take you one step closer to learning about your big goal. Whatever questions come to your mind that are pertinent to your big goal and take you one more step, you're going to choose one of those natural next questions. And then you're going to start the question cycle again. You're going to find a new piece of content that helps you to understand this new question. And then you're going to go and summarize that and ask your natural next questions. And that's your question cycle that you're going to do a number of times during this course to make progress toward understanding your big goal question. Now, what will you be producing while you go through this question cycle? Well, of course, every question cycle, you'll be making your summary, the summary of the content that you learned. But also, you're going to be recording your whole process of learning in a mind map on a platform created by a company called Beagle Learning. You're going to access this through Canvas, and all the directions will be there. But I want to show you what it might look like so you begin to visualize what you'll be doing with your learning. So your very first time through the question cycle, you're going to find that piece of content, you're going to write that summary, and then you're going to have some ideas about the natural next questions you want to ask to take your next step. Well, you're going to choose one of those natural next questions, and you'll promote it out into the mind map. And then you'll go and find another piece of content as you go back into your question cycle. And you'll find your content, and you'll write your summary, and you'll have some ideas about the questions you want to ask next, your natural next question. You'll pick which one of those you want to follow, you'll ask your question, and you'll go on and you'll find your next piece of content as you do your next cycle. Now this looks pretty linear, a pretty linear way to line up the information, you're marching through it with time, but we all know that learning is not really linear. What if your next question, what if this ends up to be a bit of a dead end? Do you think you've kind of learned what you need to learn here and you really want to go back and pursue something that you were thinking about right at the beginning? Well, that's fine. Maybe the next time you promote another one of these natural next questions and then you pursue some content that you learn from that. This is the real process of learning. The way we learn in the classroom a lot of times, it seems like it's obvious we should just learn A and then B and then C because someone else has decided it for us. But when we are learning something new for ourselves, which is the skill I want to teach you for life, it's not really linear. You go back, you ask a question again. What if you didn't quite get the whole answer? You want to do it again. Maybe you really want to ask this question another time and find some more content to help you understand it more. This is what your mind map might end up looking like, but everyone's will be different. So thank you for coming along on this expedition. I can't wait to do the exploration together.